Also following breaking news right now in the ongoing investigation into Hacienda Healthcare, the facility came under fire after a woman in a vegetative state for more than 20 years gave birth. Well, now the state is stepping in, demanding that Hacienda get an outsider to manage its Phoenix facility. And we're also learning state regulators ordered pregnancy and sexually transmitted disease tests on all patients at Hacienda Healthcare. Our investigative team has been following this story since we learned about the unexpected birth at the facility. Team 12's Bram Resnick begins our team coverage with new details about the order from the state. Bram? Yes, state regulators are taking their most decisive action against Hacienda since the shocking birth of that baby boy was first reported two weeks ago. Now we're also learning about two dozen corrective actions that regulators ordered, ranging from extensive tests on patients to beefing up security. Arizona regulators crackdown on Hacienda Healthcare comes after they highlighted several significant concerns during numerous on-site visits. Under their three-year contract with Hacienda, Arizona's Medicaid provider and the Department of Economic Security are ordering the company to hire and pay for an outside manager to run the facility by one week from today. Hacienda's longtime chief executive, Bill Timmons, resigned abruptly January 7th. That came just days after news reports that a 29-year-old patient in a vegetative state had apparently been raped and gave birth to a baby boy without anyone at Hacienda knowing she was pregnant. We're now learning the same day Timmons quit, regulators emailed Hacienda a demand for more than two dozen corrective actions. They included testing for sexually transmitted diseases on the more than 80 residents, almost all of them intellectually disabled. Pregnancy testing for all females at Hacienda, with the option of more blood testing for hepatitis or HIV. And in a sign of potentially lax security, Hacienda was told not to prop open entry doors and install security cameras throughout the building. The state regulators gave Hacienda Healthcare one day to agree to hire an outside manager and one week to make the hire. If Hacienda doesn't agree, the state threatened to take legal action. Hacienda issued a statement saying its board of directors would respond in, quote, short order. Live in the Alert Center, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram, thank you for that update.